Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I like all things modular. Today, we're going to see what we can do about making the Hot Shock modular. Somebody uh, requested this in the comments section. I had yet to actually pick one up. I uh, went over to Big Lots, sure enough, they had it, so I grabbed one. And we're going to see what we can do with it as far as upgrades. I'm going to try to do a spring upgrade, remove the air restrictor so that it'll fire rival rounds. Uh, also going to make the same kind of barrel insert that I made for my Big Shot in order to allow me to fire elites and possibly whistlers and possibly some other stuff. We'll see how uh, the upgrades go. Uh, this was going to be kind of a work in progress, so let's, uh, let's get to it. All right, well, after experimenting with the various springs that I had in my bin, I discovered that I did not have the right spring to do this upgrade, so I went online and attempted to order some K26 and ended up with a lot more of it than I was expecting, so that's going to come in handy when I start doing commissions. I have added a section of K26. Problem is, originally, that the catch mechanism doesn't give you enough room between the back of the plunger and the catch mechanism to put in a K26 spring of the appropriate length. And so what I ended up doing was cutting my own catch release, or catch, plunger catch, a little bit further in. And I'm a little bit worried about uh, how that has affected the structural integrity. It does still have a solid connection on that side, but it's now not so solid on this side. And I'm tempted to see what I can do to reinforce that. Maybe some epoxy, uh, maybe putting in a screw, um, something. But hopefully it might actually just hold, but we'll see. I also then had to severely beef up the catch spring uh, because of how much extra power there is on it. However, once I got it all in there, it works beautifully. So... It is everything I hoped it would be. And I'll show you that here in some firing demonstrations, as well as a new toy that I've made. All right, I got it all back together. And before I take it out to do the firing demo, I wanted to show this little gizmo. It is the barrel insert that I used to convert it to elites. It's brassed, but the newest addition to it, unlike the one that I had originally made for the Big Shot, is it has half-inch thread, which means, that's right, kitties, it's modular and can, in fact, take any of Iyer's barrel attachments. Now, most of Iyer's barrel attachments are not going to be useful for this because even with the K26, it does not have enough power to, say, fire a demolisher rocket. Uh, and it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to add, say, the Elite barrel because it is, in fact, a barrel. However, I have made an attachment that does work very well with that. Thanks to a suggestion from a user, I have made this. It is an absolver using a sledge fire shell which, once threaded onto this barrel attachment, turns this into a shotgun pistol. Now, when I was testing it earlier, it was firing a little weird. We'll see if it's working any better now. Hopefully, it works out. But I'm going to take it out and do a quick firing demonstration. So, let's go. All right, we're going to start off with its native Mega Dart ammo. And because the air restrictors have been removed, it is capable of firing rival, so we'll give that a try. Beautiful. Now with the brass elite barrel in, firing an FVJ. And for fun and excitement, a standard nerf dart. And because it is capable of it, We'll go ahead and fire a boomco. Hmm. And finally, for the one we've all been waiting for, the Sledge Fire Absolver firing standard nerf darts. And last but not least, the Absolver firing FVJs. Marvelous. There you have it. I think it's working beautifully. I think it fires the rival rounds and the elite darts the best. I'm also very pleased with how well it fires the Absolver. Uh, the fact that this thing can actually fire 
three elite darts and hit a target at 35 feet definitely uh, is acceptable in my eyes. This works beautifully on ire. Uh, I'll eventually showcase that if I get enough attachments to do another attachments video. Um, so there you have it. As I said, I have an inordinate amount of K26 spring now. So if any of you are interested in uh, commissions for say this one, or I'm gonna try a couple of other blasters and see how well it works in those. Uh, I've got more than enough spring to go around so we can start talking commission. I've got my PO box set up and I will put it in my uh, channel description. Uh, as well as my email address if you want to contact me for possible commissions we can talk still need to work out pricing but we'll see how that goes if you have any uh, questions comments concerns ideas as always leave them in the comments below and thank you for watching <laughs>